Zach the Brat, you all know. Um, and Soph. Thank you so much, Zoja, Zozos. Thank you so much, beautiful. We're friends. Thank you very much. Oh, Zozo Shop. Thank you, beautiful. I'll promote for you as well, Zozo Shop. Um, and also, if you see me, Glitter Woman, who's doing the commission piece for me, we need to pin her because um, she's fabulous. She's amazing. I love her. Um, so, like, Mama Kaz, uh, this was Mama Kaz's um, MK Guidance, who used to give her the universes and stuff like that. And it turns out she's a terminally ill woman. Thank you so much, Janine. Um, and let's listen to the story. Oh. Thank you so much, Melly. One second, let me just send some messages. Wait there. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining. Please be patient. Thank I promise you, we will start soon. My Zach's in the box as well, is he's also okay, let me go off the then. app. I'm sorry if I don't reply to you guys in the chat. I just need to stay incredibly focused for Sophie. I've got a job to do here and that's what I've come here for um, today. Um, with regard... And just uh, just so you know, extreme trigger warning, so I wouldn't like any of you to be affected because even I was affected listening to this last night when I heard it. So... Um, virtual hugs to all these loves and hopefully um if it does get too much for you obviously um just leave the live regards to me um i've been off the app a while i used to go live quite a bit last year on and off and some of you and for context zara is cla's biggest gift to remember when she gave her forty thousand pound this is where zara started off but then obviously now she's with different communities and stuff now and she's part of our evil army as well look she was in here yesterday you will know me as as a as a big gifter um, of previous days, uh, not my finest hour. And I will say that I've learned a lot about the app in the last couple of years, especially. I've met and spoken to many, many creators, both on and off the app as well. Um, Thank you, and I'm definitely less naive to the app than I was when I first started and I joined. Um, I've experienced different things on the app and uh, Hi, good Zara. and bad, but actually one of the really good things is I've made some wonderful friends, lifelong friends, um, and I'm really, really, really grateful and thankful that Sophie is one wow. of those. Okay. Um, the like. reason why Zach's in the box as well is he's also um, become an incredibly good friend, practically family. I mean, you know, I've got his dogs, dogs at the minute. Slo Absolutely, we're ready for round two. May I pin Zara and please everyone follow Zara. What's the point three? Thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. Oh, it's Cinders. Hello, my Cinders, my darling love. It's our little Cinders love. Hello, beautiful. Why did it come up as a different name to begin with? Thank you, Cinders. And make sure to pin Cinders next as well for all the followers. Hello, Cinders. If you get a gifted sub off Cinders, make sure to say thank you. Thank you so much, Cinders. We love Cinders. Everyone needs a busy mate like Cinders. He'll bring me every uh, morning, thank noon you, and night babe. whilst he's, uh, he's healing um, with his surgery in Turkey. Um, so I'm really grateful for the friends and, and there's loads more that I've not mentioned. There's mods in the chat and, you know, Lydia, et cetera, et cetera. There's loads of people. You guys know Thank who you, you are. Thank you, Cinders. Anyway, it's been a really <laughs> tough couple of weeks. Cinders, um, do you love Gracie? She's um, she's my manager, love. Thank you, Louise. We love Gracie. <laughs> we should all be friends together, love. Let's build a bridge out, all of us together, love. We'll have all the Gracie and Cinders about time. Um, as you all know, uh, Lydia and Ronnie did a live the other day to talk about... Oh, you're not that Cinders, no way. You're a fake Cinders. You're actually Cinderella. Oh, it's not even you. Oh, Cinderella, love. I didn't realise it was you. <laughs> it's not the actual Cinders. It's Cinderella. Hello, Cinderella experience with a particular creator um i think creator um i think unless Thank you've you, been Lou. sitting under a rock you will know who i'm talking about um and obviously um said creator has clapped back as they usually do um unfortunately it's been incredibly triggering for sophie uh, incredibly triggering for Sophie. Sophie Thank you, um, <laughs> has been incredibly upset Thank you, this Zozo. week. Um, ah, oh, thank you so much, Zozo Shop. Thank you, beautiful. 
Thank you, beautiful. We'll have all the paper cranes about time. To the edge, and she's Thank been struggling you. with this behind the scenes, if you like, off the app for months. Um, and that's where I fit in. So Sophie reached out to me for help and advice. And so that's what I have given her, help and advice off the app as a friend um, in any which way I can. And that's why I'm here. I don't particularly like doing this. This isn't a hate live. It's not an exposure live. This is just a Thank live you. for you, Sophie to have her voice heard. Thank Unfortunately, you, on this on this app, it, unless you've got a, a big mouth and confidence and a big platform, um, it's hard for other voices to be heard. Um, and Sophie is, as you know, um, struggling and battling final you, stage Katie. cancer at the minute. So her health goes up and down. Um, so we've had to be incredibly mindful and I've had to... Now remember that, everybody. Final stage cancer. Thank you so much, Lulu. So the disgusting talk that I heard today from a certain other, I use the term loosely, creator on here, is absolutely disgusting. And getting told that basically Soph's weaponised and the fact that she's terminally ill to double down on somebody, what the hell? To have a duty of care to make sure that it's done in the best way possible for her so that she's able to then say what she needs to and then walk away and have some peace in her heart and continue to fight this illness and spend the time that she has with her beautiful children and family. If I get a bit upset, I'm sorry. It's been a it's been a hard couple of days, and, and this is a subject close to my heart. And um, I love Sophie to pieces. She knows that. Um, and I. But just know that it's Miss Red, Luke the Judge, Miss J that are mixing the pot. As much as you go, oh, I like Miss J. Do you know? You remember she used to join Miss Red's box all the time, going, "You fucking this about her." And she used to be a Rottweiler and be in the box. She's not this meek little kitten that she's trying to make out to be. Thank you so much, RS. She's manipulative, and they're all in it together, which is why the defence is coming from um, no other than um, Angie, delusive Angie. Because she's like a puppet on a string. She's fallen for the, for the same thing that she fell for once before. Thank you so much, RS. And, um, and is delivering foul speech um, off the back of it. I have... Although I, I'm not on the app and I don't scream and shout and talk about it, everything that's been Thank happening you, to Zach and everything that's been happening to uh, the mods uh, you, that, that spoke the other day, including Sophie, and very much Sophie. Listen... Luke and Miss Red talk every single day on the phone, whether they're on holiday, whether they're not. They speak every single day on the phone. So, Miss Red's speaking to uh, Luke the Judge, who then is, Thank you, Michael. It was then talking to Delusive Angie on Snapchat, and you're all bore witness to that, that speech today. Michael, thank you so much for the flying jets, beautiful. Thank you, my love. Oh, my God, Michael, I need to inbox you. Oh, my God, Michael, inbox me. Send, send me a number. Bump it up so I can, uh, I can message you. Oh, Gracie, love. We'll have all the sports cars. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zozo, as well. Oh, thank you, Zozo. All these gifts. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much, Gracie. Um, so think of it like this. Luke the Judge talks to Miss Red every day. So Miss Red and Luke talk every day. So then Miss Red will be talking to Luke, who was then messaging Delusive Angie while she was live. And, um, he, and she was going in. I'm just Snapchatting Luke now and all that. So if you don't think there's any influence from the Red Camp in Angie's reactions, they're using her like a puppet. They're, they're, they're just literally... Duh, 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 duh. And she's happy to do it because she's sick-minded in the head, isn't she? You know what I mean? It's absolutely sick. Some of the things... I have never once said that I've been with any family members or I've committed um, incest or done any of those foul things. You know what I mean? I did a comedy act on here. Um, a dark humour comedy act, which they just reference all the time. Oh, you've said the worst thing. Sid's on everybody and all that. You know, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Lindsay. But to go for a woman who's literally dying in the last part of her life off the back of the friendship with Miss Red, Luke the Judge and all that. It's sick. Uh, they are controlling things behind the behind the scenes. So anybody who sits and thinks that they're not, oh Miss Red hasn't been on, she's not doing nothing. They are love, I've been in the friendship group, I know how it works. I'm telling you how it works. Because I'm not in it no more, so I'll throw them all under the bus. I don't care. So that's why I can tell you what's got actually going on. So they've got a like a puppet on his drink and um she's the one feeding them all. Um, has been Miss affecting Red. me as well um, and I think you're going to see why today because um, <laughs> unless you've got a heart Thank of stone, you again, I don't know anyone Thank who's going to be affected by what Thank they you, hear Zaza. today.
So as I said, trigger warning. Um, so I met Sophie a year ago, over a year and a half ago. Um, and some of you will know I was actually supporting this creator back then. Um, I've had a tumultuous relationship with this creator. Um, but I always try and see the good in people. So I always try and, you know, support, um, again, my naivety on TikTok and I hold my Thank hands you, up. I wish I could, I wish I could redo some of the things that I did at the start, but I can't. Um, and that's on me. I think many of us share that frustration. Um, but we struck up a really good connection. Um, and last year when this creator had problems with their partner, Sophie reached out to me. And again, I'm not going to repeat all of that stuff. You guys know. And if you don't know, have a conversation in the chat amongst yourselves. Thank but you, after Carrie. all of that stuff that happened with regards to the relationship, Sophie's relationship broke down with this Thank creator. You, and What don't you get about it? When I'm not friends with somebody, I throw them under the bus. I'm admitting it. So all this, but if you were still friends with them, but I'm not, so I can expose it all because I've got nothing to lose, <laughs> not mates with them. So I'll throw them under the bus. Like I'm admitting it. Thank you so much, JD. Thank you, babes. Thank you for the train. So I don't know why people find it so hard to be, but you were friends with her the other week, but I'm not now. And that's all that matters is the here and now. Thank you so much, Evil Darkness. Not four weeks ago, not eight weeks ago, the here and now, and I'll throw them under the bus because I'm not friends with them anymore. <laughs> so use your head. Sophie didn't... All this, but if you were friends there, yeah? If I'm friends with somebody, I'll defend them to the hilt. If they shit on me, then I'm throwing you under the bus for the rest of your natural born. Agree, condone and like the things that were happening. And she started to realise what sort of relationship she was in. So she stepped away from the creator and then she seeked help. And that's where I come into it. Since you, Sophie Elaine. left um, this creator, this creator, and it's been about, I'd say, 10 months, uh, don't quote Thank me, you, Pink <laughs> but it's been, it's since last year, it's been, it's been a good few months. Not only has this creator, you, as you see, uh, been harassing and bullying Zach um, so much, for David. every single thing he's got, um, and this is the thing, she's also been harassing me, you know, I, I've got loads of text messages of screenshots between me and the said creator and saying Mama Kaz. that it was all my fault and she's going to threaten to expose me and the things I said about Zach. Zach and I have had a conversation. We, we've gone up and down in our relationship. That's for another day when he tells his story. We will talk about our relationship and darkness. what went on and what happened. But the main thing is I just want you to put all the blocks together so you know this is credible, that Thank you, Dina. I had a friendship with this creator, it broke down. I had a friendship with Zach and it Thank was you, a little bit darkness. spicy, Thank you so if you like. We've, we've had a bit of a troubled start, but we're like family now. Thank you. Are you spoiling and me today? Yes, Sophie walked Thank away you. from this creator and then really that's the changing point. And that's when you guys on TikTok have seen the... Evil Darkness, Dino, thank you so much. Hello, Thomas T, my lover from another mother. Thank you. Thank you, Hayley. Hello. Sorry, everybody. I love you. Thank you so much. The uh, campaign come for Zach. Um, whilst that's been going on on TikTok, what you guys need to know is that it's been happening off the app with ex-mods that have left, ex-gifters like me that have left, and obviously someone who is not just a mod and a gifter, but someone who, who thought that they were a very good friend of this creator. Thank you, Willie Mama. And was led to believe that as well. Thank you, Laura. So, anyway, um, I'm just taking my time, so I'll make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um, since last year, um, Sophie's been continuously harassed up until the point of two weeks ago where I had to message myself, this creator, and ask her to stop. Because Sophie is, as I said, final stage. She has lots of treatments. She's got young children. Her health is very poorly. And on top of having to deal with those things, she's having to deal with the harassment um, behind the scenes. Um, and you're going to hear about this. Um, and Sophie's going to talk about it. Um, I'm going to um, play a voice note that Sophie sent me the other day um, because I want everyone to understand that Sophie gives permission for this to be shared. She wants to share this story and she wants it to be shared to share awareness and that's all because 
it's important that other people don't get caught in this uh, toxic cycle that she was caught up in. And it's important that us gifters, ex-mods and viewers take our voice back a little bit. Um, <gasps> and we. Oh my God, look. <gasps> Tommy T with the 100 gifted subs. <gasps> oh my God, he always does this to me. Whoa, if you get a gifted sub from Tommy T, make sure to say thank you. What have you done to be screened, Thomas T? Oh my God, thank you, Tommy. Can you believe it? Thank you so much, Tommy. All these new people who have now got a subscription. I love you lots, Tommy. Thank you so much. Oh yes, love. He does so much for me community, he really does. Thank you, Tommy. Oh, love. I think we need a special song for Tommy. I'm gonna make an exception for Tommy. We'll have a song for Tommy. Thank you, Woody Army, hello. Liars, sorry to interrupt the show, my loves, but that is just sound fantastic. Hello, thank I hope you, that Tommy. this encourages other people to come forward and not be frightened to speak. I'm going to play this. Don't just forget listen to say to this. thank you to Tommy if you got a gifted sub as well, it's, or anyone that's just listen to subs. this. Her story on TikTok. Just bear with me a minute. Mods, can you just let me know when I start playing it that you can hear it properly, please? Because we don't have uh, fandangled stuff like Zach does, unfortunately. I'm like a thousand years old. Right. Thank you, Bex. Oh, Tommy, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. Record. Fucking hell, I'm actually kind of glad that that didn't record because I just broke that big time. Thank you, Laura. Um. <sighs> So this is this Soph on this voice message that she's playing now. This is Soph. But I was basically. But I was basically. But I was basically. Sorry, it's the recording. Thank you, Woody Army, for subscribing. <laughs> the fact that. Okay, one second. The fact that that... Is it lagging, guys? I've just stopped it. Is it lagging? Mods, is it lagging for everyone? Glitching. All right, I'll just stop for a second. Yeah, if it lags for anyone, just come back out, come, here, come out and then come back into the live. I've checked my, we've got full Wi-Fi, everything's working this end. Thank you, so everyone, okay? for always lavishing me. Being... <laughs> yeah, I won't, <laughs> nay, thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Lavishing. Just tell me again, guys, I'll stop this. I've got all night. <laughs> I'll be here all night if I have to be. <laughs> right, okay, ready? Ready. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kira. Thank you, Paige. Sorry, guys, hold on. Hold on. I don't know why. Hold on. Now it stopped doing it for me. Because I just broke that big time. Um, but I was basically saying that I, I can't get past. What she's actually done to me. Mama Cass. The fact that... Okay, one second. The fact that... The fact that... I... Felt like I Thank needed you, to do everything for her. Thank you, because Claire. of how vulnerable she was, well, how vulnerable she made out she was, and how she was so depressed, and how she couldn't take anything Thank anymore, you, and she'd always say how she couldn't take it, she wanted to end her life, yet she'd be on live, having the best time of her life, doing battles after battles, and the fact that she had no family, and she had no one, I felt like I had to be there for her, because I felt guilty, because I had a family. And I felt like I couldn't ever. There was a lot of times where I'd feel Thank like you would never ask if I'm okay, but I never say anything because she's always in the way that she's always feeling the way that she's feeling. 
but I'm struggling. The longer I'm coming away from her, the more I'm realizing how much of my life I I put her life in front of my life. I made myself so ill over her. And I'm not saying where I'm at now is her fault. I'm not, because how can it be? But what I'm saying is, like, my life could be a little bit more different if I hadn't met her. Because I put her life in front of mine. And this is why, how did Delusive Angie go on her live today and call this woman's vision of events into question and claim that her to be lying and evidence needed and this and this needed before she'll be believed and stuff like that. Which is why I said Angie was a disgusting person today. Because that's too far. And it's coming from Miss Red, Luke the Judge and Miss J. Yay! I spent more time with her than I spent with my kids. My, my marriage broke down. I don't. I truly don't think she ever really did care about me, and I know she said she did, and she sees us all as friends. But no, I don't think she really did. Right. So that's just an example of the the absolute pain that Sophie's been dealing with. Do you know what the Lucy Banji was saying? And you'll hear it shortly. She was going in. Oh, just because this person's dying doesn't mean the word can be believed and all that. Why would why would a dying woman tell lies? I don't understand what she'd get out of it. She wouldn't waste the time, you know. Thank you so much, JJ. And you don't treat someone who's dying the same as you treat every other person. Thank you so much, JJ. Thank you, Laura. That's what she said, honestly. This is this is why I was saying down with the loose of Angie after what she said. If and I know some of you might think that's distasteful. Um, but these are Sophie's feelings and it's valid. Show and... proof she said that. I will. I've explained. First of all, we're watching this. Then we're going to go on to Mama Kaz's response. And then we're going to go on to what Delu happened in Delusive Angie's boxes today and what Angie said. I know. So it's all come and love. So take a seat, relax, as I'm trying to push ahead. Well, we've got to listen to all this first for context. Thank you so much. And the reason I'm playing all this again is to refresh everybody's memory before I play Angie and what Angie said this morning. Because what happened was everybody went to sleep and then it does become a little bit watered down by the time the morning's come because everybody slept on it. So she got away with saying what she said pretty much today. But I want you to hear this again with fresh ears and then hear exactly what she said. Thank you so much, JD. Thank you, beautiful. Oh, this creator is... So there's a method to what I'm doing. ...going to try and spin any narrative. I also know this this creator's going to come hard for me. I've already been threatened and I don't care. I'm not scared. You cannot hurt me. And I'm here to protect people like Sophie, to speak up for people like Sophie who are vulnerable. So I hope you're listening and I hope your mods are listening. The longer EQ plays at the more money she makes from this, I get the same amount of gifts as I get every single day when I come on. So this just happens to be the topic today. So I don't get any more or any less than what I usually get on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, clearly you're not a long-time watcher. This is standard. This is every day. I've got a great bunch of people who watch me day in, day out. Who do the same thing day in, day out. So chilli beans listening that the ones that you got left and i hope everyone who has supported you in the last couple of days and you're making dosh from suffering no because if you just listened instead of listening to respond you would have heard me say that this is standard the gifts i'm getting today the subscriptions that tommy sends this is standard so on a standard normal day when there is no trauma on the screen so there's no difference to yesterday and the day before than today so maybe listen to hear and not listen to respond and you might um you might understand and enable you really really take on board what you're about to hear today now i got that message the other day from sophie we had a we had a discussion we talked about what she wants to do and one of the things that's heavy on her heart is that she isn't able to speak her truth and so she has to consume that and keep it inside of her and right now she needs all of her energy to fight this illness and and, and extend the time that she's got and actually by releasing this and telling her truth is going to help her be in a better mental headspace 
I mean, the harassment has stopped for now. Um, two weeks ago when I asked, said creator to stop harassing her. Oh, and by the way, we've got receipts Thank for this. And I'm not going to be pulling them up today. Thank you, beautiful. But if and when we need to circulate them, we will. So if you can try and lie about it, but the truth is always going to come out. So now I spoke to Sophie earlier. Sophie's very, very poorly today. She's got an incredibly sore throat um, and she's struggling. So we had a chat earlier and I recorded our conversation and Sophie's going to tell you her story on a pre-recorded chat that we had earlier this morning. Um, and she gives her consent to this for this to be shared. Thank you, um, It's a long one, galaxy. but Thank again you, in the chat, um, if there's new people coming in, mods, can you explain what this life is about? Uh, please keep up the trigger warnings uh, and please keep uh, mentioning where the messages are pinned. Thank um, you, the uh, conversation does last some time, but it will give you um, the entire background of Sophie's story from the minute that Kaz came into her life. Whoops. So I want you to pay close attention from here on out um, to what's being said, because it'll be relevant for later on when we show, obviously, the Lucy Van G's take on the whole situation and how disgusting she behaved this morning said it there from the minute that that creator came into her life um up until well present day which is a couple of weeks ago so i'm going to play it now hi Sophs. um are you ready mods can you hear it yeah okay well let's start from the top my darling take your Basically, time yeah hi black Pope. yeah um i didn't really originally want to do this 99 problems. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. If you do receive a gifted sub of anybody, make sure to say thank you. Thank you so much. It's Ratlord. I don't know why I'm coming up with a different name. Thank you, Ratlord. Evil Darkness. Thank you so much, Dino. Thank you very much. And thank you, Ratlord, for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you so. Liars. I love all the cash. But I came away from Kaz and I tried to, I tried to heal in the fact that our friendship had broken down. But then Thank seeing you, the way Queen. she's portraying Thank her you, stuff Miss on C. TikTok and she's being so Listen, I'm so sorry, I can't help, but I'm just like a really popular like live streamer and I get a lot of gifts because I'm not like another streamer, you know what I mean? Thank you, Lexi. So it's just constant, it's like a constant stream. So I know it feels like I'm talking over everything, but like this is people's money, you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> sorry. But I can't help it, love. I'm popular about town. Thank you so much, Evil Darkness. Thank you, Dina. Awful towards certain creators and her mods and the old mods that have come out Ronnie and Lydia Sorry. thank you Jill saying what they've had to say and it's the whole truth Tia thank you sorry I shouldn't be laughing I'm laughing at this situation not not this obviously Kaz kept no accountability for it not one sorry in fact she was dancing and singing can we switch gifts off till later absolutely not are you mad thank you the Watson are you mad I don't think so, love. When her, when she opened her boxes, almost like she was celebrating. Thank you, Shani. Um, and it was really, really hard to see. Thank you, and Ten, too. I, I've had enough of watching her manipulate people, even including Donna. <clears throat> um, I've said to you myself, every time I see Donna go live, I'm struggling to watch it because... I can see that Kaz manipulating her behind the scenes. Mm. So, yeah, I just want to speak about it now because it's killing me. It's absolutely destroying me. And I feel like I need to get it off my chest. Um, <clears throat> I When I first came onto TikTok, within like a couple of weeks, I came across Kaz. And... It was like on my business account, <clears throat> and um, I just I just fell in love with her. I loved her personality. Like I thought she was really real and really genuine, and I did. I I, I started gifting um, Kaz quite big, quite often, um, and it it kind of you kind of feel like 
it's a nice feeling, you know, when Thank you, you're Tabula. seeing that person happy. Um, yeah, it's yeah. I just I don't even like to talk about the whole gifting side of it Thank because you, Claire. it's just a big. It's one of the biggest regrets of mine. Um, mm. And every time I would enter the chat, um, I wouldn't even have to say hello. <clears throat> She'd see that I joined. And she'd be like, oh, hello, what's it? No, say my, say my business name. Um, and she'd always make me know. I mean, I feel like I have to sort of come in and behind the scenes, she'd sort of message me to say, I've got a big battle tonight. I'd really appreciate if you could help support me. And I'm having a really shitty week this week. It would mean everything to me if you could come and support. Terrible. And I would. And then... The longer I was there, about, about a year in, um, she started to like really befriend me. And I heard her on live the other day say that we latched, I think it was yesterday, we latched onto her. Mm. And it was completely the other way around. She latches onto us. She latches onto any big gifter or anybody she thinks that can benefit her life, whether mm. that's helping her with TikTok or, or giving her money, gifting, whatever. And we did, we formed, over the course of three years, we formed a really strong relationship um, to the point that she depended on me for everything. Um, and that was fine. I... Do you know what's sad about it is she probably didn't depend on everything. She just manipulated her, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, Devil's Apprentice. She just manipulated her. You know, she knew what she wanted and she, she made it appear that she needed her for everything. And, oh, without you, it's all so awful. And I need you. When you're there, I feel so much better and supported. It's all fake in order to obviously grab the cash. If somebody is sharing the live to you and telling you about a battle and all that type of stuff, they're not your mate. They're only after your money. A million percent. I've never messaged anyone to send any, a single gift on this app. Thank you so much, Claire. I just feel like she was vulnerable. No, <laughs> vulnerable, my hoe. She you were the vulnerable one, girl. Calling. Thank you so much, Aunt Sally. Hello, beautiful. You were the vulnerable one, so f that that's the truth of the matter. Thank you so much, Aunt Sally. Thank you, babes. I wouldn't be surprised if Mama Kaz didn't have a hand in breaking a marriage down, you know what I mean? Because she knew that Soph had money and was supporting her, so, like, get everyone else out the way, sorts of things that they can't say. Well, what's got actually going on here? So isolated her, you know what I mean? So she was, like, on her own sort of thing. EQ asked me for gifts all the time. Liar! Liar! God. Ten, sometimes up to twenty times a day. It was always, I need help with something. Yeah, I love Bob. Thank you, Bex. Thank it was about her relationship with Dean. Um, and that was kind of just our relationship. It's just kind of what it was. I felt like a lot of it was one Thank side. You, she didn't treat me like a friend, not like how I treated her. Anyway, that's sort of how our friendship went. And then <clears throat> I then started going through a really rough period of my time um, where I was starting to get really unwell. And during that time, I helped her with so much. I helped her set up her lash business. That lash business was literally all on me. Mm. I just, I did everything with that lash business. I was trying to source the lashes. I, I was up all hours in the morning sourcing the lashes. Um, I designed her business cards. I ordered her business cards. I made her TikTok shop. I controlled her TikTok shop. Um, all the packaging. I look Don't worry, at the, at the end of the show, we're going to do a counter. I'm going to bring a profile up. <clears throat> and again, I get you all to unfollow Mama Kaz live. So we're going to do like we did for Miss Red. Uh, and we're all going to do a mass unfollow if you haven't already. Don't worry about going and do it now if you haven't already. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> Thank you so much. The packaging. I ordered the packaging. I inquired about different beauty items, like things that she wanted to expand on. I planned how her business live streams would run. Um, 
even down to Dean's business that he was making this jewellery business, um, I helped with so much. It'd be like, Sophie, can you help with these designs? And I had no problem doing it at the time. Whatever I could do to help, I would. Um, And I never really asked him anything in return because I was just helping a friend out. So everything that I did for her, I never had a problem with. And I, I I never threw it back in her face because that's what friends did. She wasn't very good at that kind of stuff. She couldn't really work things out very well. Um, and I would just help her from having a business in the past. It just, I just felt like I could do it for her. Yeah. But then it kind of took the piss because I spent so much time on that business and she didn't really care about it. It was like, she didn't want to come away from, you know, she would have to, stop her benefits she would have to she would have to declare the money and she didn't want to um and i said well casually you know, that's the risk you've got to take when making a business you can't have the best of both worlds you can't be getting gifts on tiktok running a bit getting money from the business they have benefits you can't you can't do that um she's asking if i can put it in my name and, I, and for me to receive the money and i said absolutely not no that's that's your problem, you, you're paying the tax, you're doing more than that, not me. Um, so that was that, and um, so that was that, and just before her business was ready to be launched, I became very unwell and I went into a coma. Oh my god, and it wasn't very long, and apparently she was crying over me on live and she was speaking to my husband at the time like he was giving her updates on how I was and apparently she was distraught and during that time when I was in a coma Lydia sort of had to take my place I guess Mm -hmm. um she felt that pressure she felt just a percentage of the pressure that I feel um in regards to how much Kaz lent on her because she didn't have me around and Lydia couldn't cope with it. Um, even when I came back home and I'd recovered, she said, so I don't know how you do it. She depended on me so much and the fact that I felt like I was barely even talking to my own child because Kaz needed me so much. So that's the manipulation. She isolated her <clears throat> from even like her, her own child anybody around her she wanted like this woman to like just be totally like obsessed with her and basically control this woman's life and I know that sounds awful but when you've got somebody who hounds your phone 20 times a day panicking I need you I need you can you please help me do this I'm about to have a, I'm about to have a fucking breakdown help me you feel like you have to do it even though your kids are supposed to come first yeah but anyway when i did come out of my coma and i recovered and i got home and the moment i got home i called her to let her know i just got home um she didn't once say oh i'm glad you're home are you okay are you feeling okay what's the plan now what's going on straight away when I answered, when she answered the phone, she went, oh, Sophie, I'm so relieved. Look, I know. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you for the giraffe, beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nick. I'm sorry, you've you just come out of a coma. I know you just got home, but can we please talk about my business? I've just been panicking because I can't do it without you. And I've got all this stock and I can't get it out there without you. And I felt like... Why couldn't Mama Kaz just go live with her own eyelashes and promote them and stuff? I don't understand. Like, if you're a live streamer, you're responsible for, like, your promoting or whatever else you do and all that. I don't know why it was put on somebody else. Excuse me? Mm. I'm not in a I'm not in a right frame of mind to talk about your business right now. I've literally just got home. I was high off my head on, on painkillers. Like, but, so that was that. I was like, okay... And again, maybe, uh, I don't know, like when I look back at it now, mm. I really do feel like Sophie, Thank what you, fuck Nicole. Are you playing at? Like you would never ever in a million years let anybody walk all over you, let anybody treat you like shit. And 
you allowed her to. Why? No, you didn't. She manipulated you. <clears throat> I'd take no responsibility at all. She manipulates you. She did a number on you. She did an absolute number on you. Even the strongest people can be manipulated. I, I've been manipulated <coughs> before. Obviously, you all know about the Rickster situation. I was manipulated for nine months. And I now think I'm back. Like, oh my God. How the fuck did I put up with all that shit? You can be manipulated. It happens. So don't put any blame on yourself. It was the person who did it to you. Yeah, they're the culprit. There many times in our friendship, I did feel hurt, for example, like that moment. But I just can't figure out because, how, you know, she really had many people around and I just continued being there for her. And I, I loved Kaz. Like, Kaz, for me, was she was she was family. Even her mum was, like, my family. 